Hello, good afternoon, how you doing? My name's Doug Swift and I love Kung Fu. Oh, there we go. What do you reckon for an intro? Pretty good, eh? Yeah. What? My intro was amazing. Do you want to see it again? Oh, fuck, that was my head. <laughs> uh, so uh, today I am going to be looking at my horse stance. Now, uh, horse stance is pretty much, so I'm so on edge now, and Bert's got a bloody Nerf gun. Tell you what, it makes you more awake. Like, if, if you're not a coffee drinker in the morning, give a Nerf gun to your partner or your mate. Like, that wakes you up. No, I can see him hiding, there he is. <laughs> right, so, I'm gonna be looking at horse stance. Horse stance is almost in every style of Kung Fu, I think. Maybe not Wing Chun. The Wing Chun guys can tell me, tell me differently. But um, horse stance is, is like, the, like a classic, like the go-to standard stance. Um, and you see mass variations in people's horse stance. So some people are just going for super, super low. Some people want to be nice and upright. Some people are concentrating on their back. Some people are concentrating on their knees. Like, but it's a really, really hard stance and it's really difficult to get right. So it's one of the basic things you do if you start Kung Fu, but it's one of the hardest things to get really, really good. So uh, I thought we'd have a look at it today. We'd have a look at mine, see what I'm doing right, see what I'm doing wrong with it. And then if there's anything we can improve and uh, yeah, just have, have a, have a look to see if we can make it a bit better. But first, let's see how long her hang for. Get some grip strength going. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been. Did you not set a timer? No. Oh, you jet. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought I'd just put a timer on the screen when I edit the video. That makes sense, right? Cool. Yeah. But yeah, I just yeah. don't know how long we've been hanging well, for. You crack, you crack <laughs> up. You crack up. <laughs> oh, I did a minute. What are you all about? It's rubbish. It's good. Right, and let's get into it. So, I'm totally aware that everyone might do their horse stance slightly differently. That's cool. Like, I love all Kung Fu, but the Kung Fu I do is Shaolin Kung Fu. So, and everything is gonna be my interpretation of it anyway. So I totally get that everyone does it different, everyone trains it different, that's cool. So, but for my horse stance, what I want is feet slightly out a little bit. Thighs should be low and level, and I should have my back relatively upright. That's what I want. Um, I actually haven't filmed it much or taken that many pictures of it. So this is giving me a chance to look at it myself and see if I'm right. Now, how's that? I'm oh, looking at it on my phone. Oh, <laughs> Now, I've just realized that if I want to play back the video that's on this camera and I want to look at it on my phone and can't film, at the same time. So I'm just gonna go and have a look at my horse stance and then I'll get back to you. So, first conclusion of the day, thanks to Bert, and we both had a look at it, is that with the, uh, with the shot that I'm taking on my camera, it's a really, really wide shot. So my horse stance doesn't look the same as it does in real life. So I'm gonna change the angle and then film again. Thing, if I can figure out how to do it. Hang on. So does that look how my horse stance looks? It looks better, but I think you can tell that you're from even from that angle that you're leaning forward. Your ass oh yeah, but that's the point of the video, isn't it? As long as it looks on there, I think it does in real life. I think you should put it lower. Put the camera lower down. I don't care, I'm not... Yeah, yeah, and then flatten it up a bit. Like, of course it's rubbish. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No, no, just try that. Just do what That's I That's the point. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 
way better. Is it? Yep. Yeah, but all right. As long as you can see what I'm doing. So basically, after a load of camera messing abouts and angles and all the rest of it, I stick my ass out. That's basically the problem, is my bum sticking out way too far. So uh, let's have a look at some exercises, see if we can uh, work on that a little bit. Maybe even just in my head thinking I need to like get my ass in. Uh, we'll do them and then we'll see if it's any better, all right? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I know I can hear it coming. Ah! <laughs> really? Yeah, by one pumped it again and fired the other one. Well, that's that's excellent, isn't it? That it didn't fire two bullets at me. Um, right, what are we gonna do then to stop sticking my ass out? I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> It's when it goes, it goes. <laughs> what do you mean, Gavin? Uh, That's all I do. Like My kung fu is basically chatting. Like yeah, just gonna shoot stuff. Right. So, all stands. Uh, let's get this thing higher. So, then no, lower. Okay. So. Here's my tip. So first tip before Bert shoots me with that bloody Nerf gun that I bought, stupid, is um, use a wall. So to get my bum in, you can actually see that. If I use a wall, then I can't stick my bum out because I'm just sitting on the wall. You can see him in there with a bloody gun, right? So if I try and get my back nice and upright against the wall, I mean, it's hard to go low, but that's pretty much gonna stop me bending over like this. So I get, oh, it's hard though, really hard. Nice and upright against the wall, nice and flat. Tip number one. Tip number two, if you haven't got a wall, but I'm not entirely sure where you, live in if you don't have a wall like in a desert or a, in the sea or something I don't know. anyway get yourself like a wall Num tip number one I like it tip number two get a mirror um, I don't have a mirror here but I've got a glass pane over there and I can see myself in the pane so nice and upright and down look at that look at how upright it is oh, oh, tired. I'm in total. Oh, tired. Um, use a mirror. Actually, that's all right. It's low as well. That's all right. That's all right. Ugh. Tip number three. Tip number three. Don't go so low. Tip number four. And five. <laughs> Tip number five. Don't give your kung fu mate a nerf gun. Tip number four. Uh, tip number three. Don't go so low. So, yeah, it's nice to go low, but like, does this look better than this? I don't think it does. High is better. Like, for now, while you're getting lower, just stay nice and high. Make sure your posture's high. Make sure your knee alignment's correct. Make sure you're nice and relaxed. You've got movement, you can move. Stay higher. Stay down. Oh yeah, it does make me tuck my bum in, actually. Please don't hit my back. I won't hit your back. <laughs> that's right there, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that's really hard! <laughs> <laughs> so, that's basically my horse stance. That's my three top tips to make your horse stance better. Um, I definitely need to do more of that. I need to stop sticking my bum out. Um, all the time in Kung Fu. Uh, but... 
my, Neil in the UK, everybody, stop sticking your bum out. So um, I need to work on that. Uh, it's starting to rain, I'm going. Uh, remember them, use a wall, use a mirror, and just don't go as, as low, just stay high and gradually like work it down and down. Um, I'm gonna get absolutely drowned, so take it easy, see you later.